Now to Fordham Road in the Bronx, where a new kind of program is trying to fight crime. We first reported on the program six months ago when it started. CBS 2's Shosh Bedrosian takes us back and shows us the changes now underway. Crime was up everywhere in New York City, and Fordham was no exception to that. It was just last August when this brazen robbery happened at a local jewelry shop near Fordham Road in the Bronx. Nearly $800,000 worth of items stolen in a daytime attack. So we're going to see how they're doing now. In response to crimes like this one, how is the business doing after um, the heist that you guys had? Fordham Road Bid launched their Patrol Ambassadors program to enhance public safety by checking in on businesses and shoppers. So we did these double doors, so it's been preventative, like, you know, we were really conscious we let in. CBS 2 News spent the day following around Tiffany Williams, the first female ambassador to join the unarmed team of five Bronx sites patrolling the streets. All of them are trained, licensed security guards. When you Hire locally, it also deters crime in a lot of ways because people see people from the neighborhood that they recognize. Williams monitors street vendor counts. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tables in front of two stores. So that's stealing a lot of business. Follows up with local businesses. When you reported the robbery, did the police follow up? Yes, yes, they did came. And observes any suspected illegal gambling on the streets. We don't say anything to these people. We don't approach them, but we do report it. As you can see, it's usually a huge group, and this is what happens all the time. Williams then fills out a daily report of her observations. We do a count. Fordham Road Bid says the program generates data and files complaints that otherwise would never get done. Within the last few months, they filed dozens of complaints about illegal street gambling, parking, and dumping in the neighborhood. It allows us to follow up with the different city agencies that are responsible for, you know, the different things that we're reporting. Right now, the group says they're limited when it comes to funding, and they work to secure enough grants to operate a few months at a time. We're trying to work to increase our bid assessment to make this a permanent part of the bid so that we won't have to rely on outside funding. In the Fordham Heights section of the Bronx, Shosh Bedrosian, CBS 2 News.